All right, guys, so if we haven't met before, my name's Ben DeHaven. I'm the broker at Haven Realty and Investments here in Central Florida, and I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it's like to live here in Lakeland. So love to have you subscribe to the channel and follow along if you're considering relocating here, or if you live in you know, Tampa, Orlando, and you're thinking about moving over here to our smaller little area, the homes are more affordable, still got a lot of stuff going on, you're not going to want to miss this stuff. You can get in touch with me by calling 863-333-5053, and I'd be happy to go over what uh, life is like here in Lakeland. So stay tuned, because here we go. All right, so we have axe caliber, which is uh, axe throwing, as you guess. They have beer, wine, breakfast, lunch, dinner. There is a virtual shooting range here as well. So you can come in here with um, friends, family, uh, you know, you can bring all your employees here. They've got a lot of axe throwing um, booths, they call it. A lot of axe throwing booths, so you can come in here and spend some time. Here is uh, one of the parking garages. There's a couple public parking garages down here, and there are some two-hour spots along the streets. But we're coming back up. You can watch what I'm doing here, sorry. So we're going to start right off with what's probably one of my favorite restaurants down here, Mojo Federal. It's a barbecue joint. They have a big wall of bourbons and rums and stuff. So if you're into uh, having a cocktail, beer skis like I like to do, uh, this is a great place to come. they got a really good happy hour uh, right in the heart of downtown. So uh, we're coming up. That's over there. Some lawyers buildings here. Lots of commercial space down here. Got the Terrace Hotel. Throw a little bit of footage of that in here so you can see. A uh, great place if you were going to come buy a home down here in Central Lakeland. That'd be a great place to spend the night. If you're uh, relocating, you can give me a call. 863-333-5053. Be happy to help. So here's Mojo Federal. I call it MoFed. We've got outdoor seating. You wouldn't want to be out there. Uh, today it's currently 92 here in July in Florida. I don't know why I'm doing this uh, little tour today, but I'm here, so we're doing it. Over there is South Florida Avenue. That's how you would get um, from South Lakeland, North Lakeland, or Central to South, or anything like that. Lots of stuff going on there. Federal, and then here we have the back nine. This is a little bar with some virtual uh, driving ranges. Haven't eaten there yet, that's newer. They've got a pretty good menu, though. And then we're coming up here Cafe Roti closed down. It was an Indian restaurant, hasn't opened up as something new yet. The Wells Fargo right here. See there, that is for lease. If you're interested in leasing that, you can call me. I can help you with that too. I can sell you a home or lease your commercial space. Here's Gaines Jeweler. So if you're looking for a ring, this is where I actually got my wife's uh, wedding ring here. Loss. It's a good uh, upstairs bar overlooking Mun Park here. I'm going to get a, a drink or some wine and have a cigar. It'd be kind of tough to get because I'm walking directly under it, but they do have a balcony overlooking Mun Park here. Got a tiki bar coming in on the corner. See, there's Mun Park. We have Bodega Market, the Vicious Coffee. Uh, there is Tsunami Sushi. They have a really good bowl of ramen as well. Uh, lots of lots of good food options. Wait. Hello. Got a Linkster's tap room here. Co hatch, co working space. One of our favorite Latin cuisine bar. This is 1961. 
nice restaurant to come to. Finer dining. And along over here, we have Harry's. It's a New Orleans style restaurant. And while we're over here, we'll do we'll continue around this block. Now we're headed back down towards Excalibur. Palace Pizza is a favorite for a whole lot of people. That's a really good place to come in and get, get you a pizza. And Banquet 1961, they have the back side of this building here. Palace Pizza, they've got the patio there. Used to be Hurricane Alley. Closed down, American Gym, another bar. They serve burgers and stuff like that. Molly McHugh's Irish Pub. Got some pool tables in there. Cake Maker Studio, get your cake on. Blush and Blondes, come in and get your hair done. Revival, craft cocktails, beer and wine. Not my favorite place personally, but it is good. They do have a lot of stuff in there. Service is a little bit of miss in my opinion. Can't wear icon. I have some clothes in here. Distant craft brewing. Right here in downtown. Great place to come get a cold beer. Pita pit. Imagine what they do in there. Get your pitas. And I'm gonna come back over. Another one of our favorites here. On this corner is Fresco's. It's right here on the corner of Kentucky and Lemon. And then there's Taco Bus, Just Dance, and the Hookah Palace. That's how I'll walk you over there. We'll go down that side. Fresco's is Southern Kitchen. Really good. We really enjoy going there. Taco Bus. Get your tacos on, burrito bowls, empanadas, you can see there. Daily specials. This dance. You want to learn how to dance? They do it all. It's Palace Pizza again. Sit out. It's nice when it's a little cooler to come out here. Right now it's just way too hot. See the street parking. We're getting ready to have a food truck rally tonight. So they've got these parking spots blocked off at Lump Park. Let me take you up there, show you. But here down Main is another parking garage. If you can't find street parking. And here's the Terrace Hotel and Terrace Grill. Back over there, 1961 again, so you have an idea where we're going. Children's Exploration uh, Museum is over here. And you're supposed to be gone from here at 3 o'clock today, so they're getting ready to probably start towing these people. First food truck showing up. Craving donuts. Big open park. There'll probably be a live band here. This was a building that was for sale for three and a half million dollars. Jimmy John's here on the corner. And I'm not going to walk you through all of downtown, but this will kind of give you an idea. I'm headed down this way. Ooh, super grouper. Get you a grouper sandwich coming in.
and the railroad tracks are right through here. The Amtrak station is walking distance down the road here. But you could hop on train to Tampa or all the way to New York. You can go all over the place. It's Amtrak, so you can go all over the country. I've done that a couple times. Went up to Winter Park. A unique experience. Not the quickest way to get there, but you can do it. It takes like three hours, I think. We're driving. It'd be an hour and a half. See, there's the walkway right down there. And down here on Saturday mornings is the farmer's markets. So they block all this off. You can see they're probably getting ready to do that for tomorrow. Tomorrow night they'll block it off because today's Thursday. I don't know when you're going to watch this. There's an escape room over there. The La Glam Salon. It used to be Salon Chateau. A couple more stores down here. I'm going to get you up here to Bay Street and show you that. And then we'll switch gears again. A couple more stores here. A page boutique. Yeah, this would be uh, Saturday. It's where the farmer's market is. Twelve six one. Just all sorts of little shops and stuff down here. Stationary loft. Top buttons. Upscale thrift shop. Another copy shop over here. Got new channel eight here waiting on some breaking to happen. That's cool. Got their stuff all in the tree there. Plum, another accessory boutique. Scout tag, lots of stuff here. You can outfit your new home with. Bunch of succulents. Everybody's into succulents nowadays. Swan watering container. Here's Swan City. Take cart, fair trade, and more store. Here's Lloyd's of Lakeland, antiques and collectibles. Uh, but I came all the way down here to show you this. Screaming Tuna Sushi, Teriyaki Madness, uh, Nobu. These are rentals, so you could rent these little apartments. It's probably actually cheaper to buy a house, but you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not associated with it. I'm just showing you. Pressed Books and Coffee. It's been a couple different places. I'm having a hard time staying open because it's a little bit farther away from the actual downtown. Bay Street Bistro. It's another fine dining establishment. All right, so that was most of downtown. There is still a whole lot more going on. It is 92 degrees out here. There's a yoga studios over here this way. Uh, just all sorts of stuff, but it's 92 degrees. I'm going to go jump back in the car and we will give you a little bit of a driving tour. Now we have some wealth management. Escapology is down there for your escape room needs. Back at the Department of State building. And we keep on cruising back here to Munn Park where the food trucks are starting to come in for this evening's event. It's Thursday, food truck rally on a Thursday. See, the city of Lakeland takes great pride in maintaining everything around here. Everything's well kept. My watch just asked me if I'm doing a workout. I'll go ahead and throw a workout on. Oh, I have <laughs> it's caught me 17 minutes ago doing a workout. I'm walking. Normally, I'm just a gym guy, but I'm not showing y'all around downtown Lakeland. And there's more commercial space over there, just all sorts of stuff down here, guys. I'll have to give you the map tour and show you what's going on. And toss in a little bit more here. 
some sculptures over here. Again, there's Mofed, my favorite place. Here's Plaza. Here's the parking garage. And then I am going to go get in the truck and drive you over to the joinery so we can check that out. All right, I'm driving us down to the joinery. Here's the catapult building. That is a, another like co-working space. Over here you can see Lake Mirror, kind of see Lake Mirror. So I'm driving, I'm gonna have to get out and walk you around. Amtrak Lakeland Station. But I'll get out and show you a little bit of the joinery. See, it's right here. Let's see what I can All right, guys, so we're kind of in the in middle of this video here, and I want you to stay tuned till the very end, because like I said, I'm going to go over the map and show you where this stuff is, some homes that are for sale by downtown, if that's what you're interested in. So I'm looking all around. I'm kind of driving here and talking. Um, just want to make sure this is a fit for you. If you're considering relocating to the area, uh, because making a move twice sucks, and you don't want to do that. So we can get on a call, hit up my calendar link in the description, and let's talk about what it is that you want to be by, and we can find the perfect place for you to live here. You can also reach out on my cell phone, 863-333-5053. And we love it when y'all reach out, talking about where you're going to live, what you want in your home, what you want to be near, stuff like that. So again, don't be afraid to reach out. I would love to know what you think about these videos and what you want to see in the comments. So drop in a little note down there where you're moving from and what you like about these videos. I love it when y'all do that. Um, here we go. Back to it. All right, Texas Cattle Company, very popular spot for birthday dinners because the birthday boy or girl eats free. And you can walk over there. Joinery is right over there on the other side of the fire department. And downtown is on the other side of the lake here. And you can walk all the way around this lake. There's some artwork, sculptures. This it in the Swan Lake, that is about a mile from here, maybe a half a mile from here. You could walk if you wanted to. I wouldn't suggest it today because, like I said, it is burning hot. But Lakeland is called the Swan City, and you can see here's a sculpture of a swan. There's all oh, they're all over the town. And up here, you can walk this lake. Like I said, downtown it is across the lake there. Allison and I got married directly across there by those little gates. Amtrak Station joinery barnett park is over there place to bring the kids and wear them out sorry if this is boring i'm doing my best to keep you going and share what i know with you if you're thinking about moving here to lakeland or anywhere in central florida give me a shout the calendar link down below we can schedule a zoom call get on there go over what you need what you don't need and i can tell you about where you want to live and you can call me at 863-333-5053. But over here is Hollis Garden. I highlighted that a little bit in a different video. As you can see, there's plenty of room here. City of Lakeland has events here. They did fireworks, uh, red, white, and boom for the 4th of July just recently. There's all sorts of stuff going on here in Lakeland. Downtown Lakeland has a ton of stuff happening. So if you're bored, it's your fault. Uh, there's always something, like I said, uh, over there downtown actual is tonight the food truck rally on a Thursday. House Gardens Museum here. 
a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go up. I want to show you unfiltered. It used to be my favorite spot. It was called Poor Porker, uh, but they have shut down and switched hands now. So let me take you over there. Be right back. All right, so we'll do a little bit of a deep dive here on unfiltered for you because I haven't been here yet. Used to do beignets. We've got an outdoor bar area. Little kids. It used to be where the adults could go sit. They had a table in there. You can see poor porker sign over here. Cool little outdoor spot. Not happening right now because, like I said, it is 440 and it is hot out here. But I'm going to go in and see what they got. Let me share it with you. That was my downtown Lakeland tour, guys. Thanks for coming along with me. I am going to jump over to the maps here in just a second, so don't click off just yet. Um, going to show you kind of the area that we were, where these things are, the homes that are for sale around here. So I'm going to keep on going, but I do want to thank you for watching this far. And like I said, stick around because we're going to jump into the maps right now. All right, guys, so we're on the map here. Let me show you around a little bit here. So downtown Lakeland, where we started was right here, Excalibur. So I was parked here. We came here down to Orange, walked around, came up to East Main over here, back towards Fresco's here. So here's uh, Mofed, as I call it. Here's Fresco's, which kind of cruise around. Uh, Mud Park was here. We walked all the way down to East Bay. Here's where Screaming Tuna Sushi was and the Teriyaki Madness little spot, Lloyd's of Lakeland, all these little shops, like I said, along here, North Kentucky Avenue is where they have the um, farmer's markets on Saturday, and then uh, the food truck rally was around Mon Park here, let me switch this over to satellite, um, so you can see, um, you know, here's where we were, I came back up Tennessee, over here, Tsunami Sushi, uh, my favorite place to get ramen, there is another ramen place in Lakeland, I haven't tried it, um, and then after that, so I mentioned South south florida avenue is here and this runs turns in north florida and goes all the way up to north lakeland and all the way down so you can see here that's kind of main drag coming through here you get up to lakeland square mall come down here um, to the lake hollingsworth area and down into south lakeland but let's get back into the area we're talking about here i also didn't highlight but swan brewing is a, another little local brewery here that um, I kind of prefer, and of course the joinery, I spent some time at the joinery showing you in there. Uh, Amtrak station is right here, train actually came by when we were uh, filming. The rec room, I mentioned the rec room in there as well. Uh, came over here towards the end of the video, Texas Cattle Company, so see here you can kind of cruise around this whole lake, um, make it a whole little evening. Right here is unfiltered where it used to be Port Porker, you know, during the cooler evening. This is a great little spot to hang out. Uh, Barnett Park is right over here. And like I said, Lake, um, Lake Mirror and Haas Gardens are right here. This is a beautiful spot to spend a little bit of time looking around. Um, just a lot of stuff going on over here. So, you know, if you have questions, give me a call 863-333-5053. I'd love to um, talk about you moving here, see what we can do to help you out. Uh, speaking of buying a house, let's hop over here to the MLS. So that area here, here's Lake Mirror. Um, most of the homes that are going to be for sale, the closest to this are you know, in this Lake Morton area, farther down into Lake Hollingsworth over here into the Lake Hunter area and down into Dixieland. So um, just to give you an example, I'm just going to randomly click, click on a couple of these. I don't have any plans here. Uh, Hancock Street, this is... You know, old historic, probably built in the uh, 20, early 1920s or something like that, maybe even later than that. This is the greenhouse for sale, 320. You know, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. This is built in 1920. So, yeah, 27 days on market asking 320. Uh, you can get a little bit closer in over here. Lake Morton here is a 42 on Riggins. This one built in 1925. So this is a historic district, if I didn't mention that already. Um, you know, old wood-burning fireplaces. And that's just what most of these are going to be. There were some that were torn down, and there's something more modern. Uh, but that's just kind of giving you an idea. You know, 435, 1,900, 20, 22 square feet. Uh, under air, total area, 2,434. And we'll jump back over here again. 
Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot going on for homes for sale in the little downtown area. There are apartments that were built here. Uh, you can come up here a little bit more and there's a couple new construction, 275 on Pear Street, uh, 35 days on market, 1,300, 20, 22 square feet. Sorry, I can't even talk. Um, you know, so newer construction, not the best picture, so we'll skip out of here. Um, another thing that I didn't mention that's close to downtown is Bonnet Springs Park. So, you know, I wouldn't really want to walk that far, uh, but this park here is a spectacular way to burn some time. Come out here, there's pass all around. There is a little water, um, I don't know what you call it. There's like a little dock here. You can rent paddle boats. I'm not sure if they're doing that. There's a walkway, an elevated walkway all through these trees. Um, so cool little spot. Just plenty of things going on in downtown Lakeland. You now you can come over here. This is where the swans are. Um, sorry about that. Let me need my phone. Um, the swan nesting areas are right here. Uh, and you can walk all around this lake. This is just south of downtown. You know, like, I, like I mentioned in here. So um, there just a lot of stuff going on. There is all sorts of homes for sale, like I said here, Dixieland, Beacon Hill. This is so close to everything. Kind of a great spot to call home here in central Lakeland um, for access to Tampa, Orlando. I mean, it's you really just can't beat it. I feel like there's a lot of stuff Tampa has going on. Lakeland's you know, kind of got that feel going for you uh, if that's what you're looking for. So give me a call, 863-333-5053. There is a calendar link down below. You can get on a Zoom call with me. We can discuss you know what it is that you're looking for in a house and a neighborhood and i can find you the perfect area because living by downtown might not be for you i do more than just downtown i'm all over the place so really anywhere here in central florida if you're looking you know plant city polk uh polk county winter haven uh davenport any of this zone right here i'd be happy to help you so all of my information is down in the in the description i'm here to be a resource for you and I would love if you would give me a comment on where you're watching from, if you're considering moving to the area, you know, state, city, where you're from. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you soon.